educational resources, i.e. texts, illustrations, videos, learning objects, only become open educational resources if they have been openly licensed. This explicitly and legally stipulates how and that the materials can be used for learning and teaching. So, for example, that you can print out the objects, change them, republish them, even if the background is commercial. The best way to imagine it is that not only is the document posted on the internet, but you also define how you can use it. A small step with a big impact, the open licenses from Creative Commons are currently primarily used as licenses. Below, we want to show how these licenses work. The starting point is the copyright applicable in the respective country, which you are automatically entitled to when you create a work and regulates what rights you have to your intellectual property and how others may use it. The consequence of this is that anyone who wants to use your work has to ask you for permission. It's a laborious process. It would be much easier if it were clearly regulated from the start about what you are allowed to do with your work and what you are deliberately not allowed to do. And the best thing is, you yourself define what can be done with your materials. However, this requires contracts, and that is exactly what the Creative Commons licenses are. The CC licenses ensure clear, unambiguous, and above all, legally clean regulations on how a person's created teaching and learning materials can be handled by making each CC license available in three ways. First of all, the license is a legal text that is written by experts and takes into account different country-specific regulations. Then there are short, understandable explanations for laypeople, i.e. for you or me, what exactly needs to be done. And then there is a machine-readable code so that search engines, for example, can also discover open educational resources on the Internet. Often a license is only linked or the icon of a license is used. So there is not just one, but several Creative Commons licenses. All are composed of different aspects, BY, SA, NC, ND. However, not all CC licenses are counted as open licenses. I would like to explain it with an example. Let's assume that the teacher named Isabel has made a technical sketch. Isabel wants to allow others to use it and uses a Creative Commons license for this. CC initially stands for Creative Commons and is a modification of the well-known copyright symbol. Isabel chooses the CCBY license. The BY means that Isabel wants to be credited when the sketch is used by others. So if you include the sketch in your learning material, you must name Isabel. But you can do this at any time, even free of charge. Changes are also permitted, and so is commercial use. Isabel loves the idea of open access and sharing so much that she thinks future teaching materials should be equally open. So she uses the CCBYSA license. The SA is the abbreviation for the English term that something should be shared equally. If we use Isabel's sketch, we must also publish our complete work under this license, i.e. under the CCBYSA license. But Isabel could also decide that it is not important to her that her name is mentioned in connection with the sketch. But she wants it to be easy to use. Isabel therefore decides to make the sketch available under the CC0 license. This means that the sketch is in fact to be viewed as a work in the public domain. This license was developed primarily for countries where it is not possible to release works into the public domain. Making something public domain is possible under US copyright law, for example. This option does not exist in Europe, so we use the CC0 license. Creative Commons itself has other options for licenses, for example, NC for non-commercial. This excludes commercial use. Use is therefore also excluded if fees are paid, such as for further training, tuition fees or tutoring. For example, the sketch should not be displayed on a website that generates small income from advertising. Licenses with the NC option therefore do not count as open licenses. Licenses with the attribute ND are also not counted as open licenses, as no changes are permitted with this option. So, CC licenses with the options NC and ND do not count as open licenses. Materials that have been licensed with this are therefore not referred to as open educational resources in the strict sense. In summary, the licenses CC0, CCBY, and CCBYSA are open licenses in the sense of the definition of open educational resources by UNESCO. They are available in different versions. The current one has the version number 4.0. The best thing to do now is to take a closer look at the licenses themselves.